one of the biggest days of the year for high school athletes in our area. It's really our Super Bowl, and it was super sunny. Championship Saturday in total, more than a dozen state champs to crown in Vermont. Multiple sectional titles to hand out in New York. We will start in the Green Mountain State to Burlington High School we go. D1 boys soccer title game, top seed in CVU, taking on the sixth seed. That's Mount Mansfield. Late first half scoreless game until the Red Hawks connect on a free kick. Jonah Roberts with the finish in the box and CVU strikes first. It's 1-0 at halftime. After the break, Red Hawks with a corner kick. The ball is going to pinball around the box a bit before it's thumped to the back of the net. Roberts back for more. His second of the day, CVU in command 2-0. And they know the hardware is almost theirs. In the final minutes, the Red Hawks put a bow on it. Another goal off a set piece. This time, Jamie Lashua knocks it home and the celebration is on. CVU captures its second straight Division I title in shutout fashion. This one feels even better than last year. Um, just a great group of guys. I had a lot of friends on this team and I, I just, it was a great day. Great time to wake up in the morning and just, you know, get another championship. The Red Hawks go back to back for the first time since their six peat in the early 2000s. So the CVU boys are pretty good, as are their lady counterparts. The top seed looking to cap off another perfect season against Colchester. Rematch of last year's title game that ended 1-0. This one had plenty of goals, and it starts with Josie Pecor in the second half. Shakes her defender with a nice move in the box, an even nicer far post finish. 1-0 Red Hawks, seven minutes later, CVU strikes again. Jillian Magnier admitted after the game she didn't expect that to go in at all. Luckily for her, it does. What a shot. 2 nothing Red Hawks. Later on, ball sent ahead to Catherine Gilwee. She's got all the time in the world. Pokes it home with the right foot. That just about wraps this thing up. For the third straight year, the Red Hawks are champs again. I feel incredible uh, to complete three championships with my best friends. I mean, each year it's very different, but we've all just come together each time and it's, it's been amazing. That wraps up a decade of dominance for CVU, who takes home the title every year, but 2010 and 2016. With D1 wrapped up, let's go to Division Two. We'll start with the guys, Stowe and Middlebury playing for the championship trophy. First half, Tigers earn a PK, but Isaiah Schaefer Geiger up for the challenge. The Stowe keeper saves it. We're scoreless at halftime. After the break, Raiders with a free kick sent into the box. It's headed ahead and then knocked home. Rye Bleda Villalta scores to give Stowe the lead, and he was not done later in the half. He puts home his second score of the game. That doubles the Raider lead, which is all Stone needs. New division, same result. The Raiders are taking home yet another title. This means the world to this team. I mean, Brian, this is his last year coaching. Uh, for all the seniors and all of them, it, I think, it, like, as you see, I mean, I think it means everything for them. That's now, count them, eight straight state titles for Stowe, but the Raiders first in Division Two. To the girls now, the matchup no one saw coming. Ninth seeded Rice taking on seventh seeded Harwood. Much like the guys game, we start out with a penalty kick. Only this time it's converted. Tanum Nelson knocks it home. Highlanders take a 1-0 lead into recess. Second half, Autumn Karstensen wins the ball in the corner, crosses it, and Maris Lynn connects back of the net. The Green Knights find the equalizer 1-1. Less than two minutes later, corner kick served in. Alex Dosti redirects it with her foot. Somehow it trickles in. The Green Knights take the lead. And after falling in the same game the past two years, Rice finally leaves happy. 2-1 your final. Third time's a charm. I mean, I think it really suited us well for us being underdogs this year. And um, it just feels so great to finally get this one. With the victory, Rice captures its first state title in two decades.